You might be surprised, but in China, it is popular to rent a girlfriend. Why is this happening? How much does it cost? What's included in the price? And why do girls do this kind of job? Watch this video till the end and you'll be definitely surprised with this Chinese society phenomenon. Hi everyone, my name is Aina and I have been in and out of China for four years and I have something to share with you. So, why renting girls is so popular in China? Well, first of all, because of the demographic issue. There are 30 million more men than women in China. If you cannot imagine 30 million men, just imagine that in the States, the whole state of Texas, which is exactly 30 million, is just full of men. Just imagine this. And this is what's happening in China. Secondly, modern jobs require people to work in famous 996, which was popularized by Jack Ma. 996 is basically when you start work at 9 a.m., finish at 9 p.m., and work like this six days a week. This schedule leaves no spare time for men to find a decent partner. And many men are just way too timid to approach girls, they lack any skills. Ta -da. No. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and that is also why PUA courses are so popular recently among Chinese men. Thirdly, drinking culture and history in general. Chinese businessmen make decisions and expand their network at the dining table. And so inviting girls over is something normal there. Just like in Japan, having geishas is a native concept in Chinese history. In each dynasty, there were always female entertainers of different ranks that would dance and sing and escort their clients. And so in modern China, this concept of a female entertainer slash escort took a new form. So, let's look at where you can find those girls, what's the price, and what's included. Number one, escort. And I mean the real escort at dinner parties. So, you might find those girls through agents or even through your friends, your Chinese friends. Because, yes, Chinese people can even invite their own female friends or female acquaintances just to, you know, make a company together to eat and drink. And the problem is why girls, you know, take the money from this because you actually have to drink a lot. You have to drink so much that you can even die. I'm serious about this. I know the guy who drank so much. He later went to coma for a few days and then he was bedridden for a month. And uh, yeah, it is a real problem and no wonder girls ask for for some allowance. So what's that allowance? It usually varies from 1,500 to 5,000 RMB, which is $200 up to $700. The next place, playrooms. You know, in China, cat cafes, dog cafes, and other animal cafes are very, very popular and I adore them. And in there, you can usually pet the pets, pet the animals, and play with them. But I was surprised to find playrooms with girls. So what do girls do there? They play table games with you or they play, they accompany you to play PlayStation or Xbox or whatever video games. They all have it there in their rooms. The price varies. It usually starts from $50 per hour. It can be way more, uh, but the lower end is $50 per hour. Number three renting fake girlfriends to show to your parents for Chinese New Year and other family reunions. You can find those girls through apps which are specifically designed to find fake girlfriends. Chinese parents are very worried that their sons might not find a partner. In order to alleviate their pain, their worries, those sons just hire a fake girlfriend to show her to the parents so that to make them feel relieved. The fourth place. And the fourth place had to be number one, but it is rather complex, okay? So KTV with 
girls. KTV is a karaoke TV and it is very popular in China. But there are two types of KTV. The first one is for friends and for family. And the other type is KTV with girls. In those KTVs, girls are hired by a KTV company and their duties include to make those clients to drink as much as possible by playing table games with them. Uh, and the more they drink, the higher your bonus. Number two, of course, you have to entertain them, you have to talk to them, be nice, okay? And number three, you have to sing and dance. Chinese people love it. I don't know why though. So the place number five is actually online, but I had to mention it because it is ridiculous. The highest paid job in China is probably not what you think. Live streamers who sing and dance all day earn millions of dollars per year. I'm not exaggerating this. Millions of dollars in donations, usually from single men. All these single men make donations to girls just to hear which means thank you big brother. Can you imagine how lonely some men are? Just for you to understand how ridiculous the situation is, I have just uh, recently read a story. Basically a wife uh, killed her husband, put her husband's body into the freezer why did she kill her husband? Well, they had a lot of conflicts because she was spending all their money to make donations to that male broadcaster on top of that. Even after killing her husband, she still continued using his phone to borrow money from his parents and from his friends to continue making donations to the same broadcaster. I'm mentioning the story for you just to know how terrible, how ridiculous this extent is to which, you know, people would go and, you know, spend their money on people who have nothing, nothing to do with their lives. Place number six, massage and spa. Massage is a very popular leisure activity in China. I myself love massage. And so once, when I just came to China, yeah, I went to this massage place with my friend and women were wearing, you know, all those very, very short mini skirts. And, you know, when she was sitting to give me a foot massage and I would literally see her panties, you know, and <laughs> My innocent mind was thinking, okay, it's really hot here, so no wonder people wear so little here. And then my friend told me, you know, in these places, if you want, they can give you a massage with a happy ending. I have to mention that sex trade is illegal in China, of course. But in Foshan, it's a city in southern China, massage with a happy ending is considered to be legal. So the things I have mentioned above are all legal. Prostitution is certainly illegal in China. Despite this fact, as in any country, prostitution still exists. Even those KTV with girls is a really, really dirty place and police raids often happen in those KTV with girls, spa, beauty salons, and so on and so forth. Even some restaurants and other places have hidden rooms for illegal purposes. For example, my friend told me there are restaurants with private rooms and inside the private rooms, there is another private room with a bunch of girls. For what? For those illegal activities. In shitty hotels, in the streets, when you're walking, you might just notice those, you know, cards with photos of prostitutes and their contact information. Another weird way I have heard of is uh, when a guy, a man, parks a car next to the university and he leaves a bottle with his phone number or, you know, some other contact information. And if a girl wants, she would just pick that bottle and you know contact the guy and yeah and commit the illegal activity 
So why do girls do this? Well, as for illegal activities, I do believe that in those situations, girls might not have a choice. But as for the legal activities, which I have mentioned above, it is all just because Chinese girls are very, very material. Chinese girls won't dine with you or they won't go out with you until they know you have money. And the prettier they are, the more money they would want. But not every girl is born pretty. So Chinese girls have their own unique ways to boost their beauty. About this, I'm gonna talk about in the next video. So make sure to subscribe and don't miss out on that. Bye.